Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Fox News humiliates CNN over Mueller report. The media is taking the news that Mueller has absolutely nothing on Trump conspiring with Russia. No collusion. They did not even charge Carter Page with any Russia-related crimes. Think about that for a minute. The reporters on CNN and MSNBC were visibly shaken, stunned, just as they were election night when they got the bad news Hillary lost. But not all media, Fox News is taking a victory lap for getting the story correct 9 after getting mocked by its rivals for not drinking the conspiracy theory, is calling out and humiliating its rivals. From Fox News, the mainstream media seemed to suffer a collective shock Friday evening after the Office of Special Counsel Robert Mueller handed its final report of its Russia investigation to the Department of Justice. MSNBC host Chris Matthews seemed livid that neither President Trump, his children, nor his henchmen would face any criminal charges from the special counsel. Maybe he missed the boat here, Matthews said of Mueller. Because we know about the Trump Tower meeting in June 2016, we know about the meeting at the cigar bar with Kilimnik. Konstantin Kilimnik, a Russian political consultant. My God, we know about all of those meetings with Kislyak, Sergei Kislyak, a Russian diplomat, at the Republican convention in Cleveland. All these dots we are now to believe don't connect. The liberal cable news host was particularly upset that the president wasn't indicted on obstruction of justice and never sat down for an interview with the special counsel. Why was there never an interrogation of this president? We were told for weeks by experts, you cannot deal with an obstruction of justice charge or investigation without getting the motive, how could they let Trump off the hook? Matthews asked. He will not be charged with obstruction of justice or collusion without having to sit down with the special counsel Mueller and answer his damn questions. How could that happen? Matthews' primetime colleague, Rachel Maddow, was visibly emotional throughout her show. Maddow kicked off by telling her viewers she was reporting live from Tennessee because she felt she needed to interrupt her vacation to address the breaking news. She appeared to be holding back tears. Meanwhile, several personalities on CNN were forced to admit that the announcement of the Mueller report was a positive development for the president. CNN's chief legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin offered rare favorable commentary for President Trump, calling the end of the Mueller probe really good news for the commander-in-chief. There has been a lot of suspicion around certain people. And a lot of negative things have been said and imputation of criminal activity, Tubin told Situation Room anchor Wolf Blitzer. Mueller has said, I am not proceeding. There is no better news to receive than you are not being indicted by the United States government. Later, CNN's chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta said the White House was quietly celebrating and that the Trump administration was reacting to Mueller's report with a fair amount of glee. I talked to a Trump campaign advisor earlier this evening who said, this was a great day for America and we won, Acosta told AC360 anchor Anderson Cooper. That's how they feel right now. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.